Okay, we are going to be making this picture right here. Um, now, just let me tell you before I start, I did not take any of these pictures. Um, they are all came from a Google search. <clears throat> um, I am not the owner of them. You can go on Google and get these same pictures. As you can tell, they have watermarks on them. Um, I did not, do not accept ownership of any of these pictures. Okay, so first we're gonna get our Apple picture. You want to open that up. Um, if you only have only if you can only find one Apple, we can just do a face on the Apple. Uh, if you find one with the Apple and another Apple cut in half, then you can do this effect that this Apple cut that Apple up. So to do this, you need to come over to the mouth picture and you're going to make a selection about that far outside of the mouth and then you're going to drag it over to the Apple picture and then press control T to bring up the transform box press shift as you drag it to maintain the aspect ratio and then put it over the Apple and press enter you're going to duplicate the, level, uh, the layer by pressing control J and then you're going to desaturate it desaturate it by pressing control shift U uh, make the colored lips uh, invisible by unchecking the eyeball and then change the blending mode of the black and white one to luminosity then you're going to get your eraser uh, get a medium sized brush uh, make it a soft eraser and the opacity to 42 and you're going to erase the edges of the apple so that the mouth or the edges of the mouth so it blends in with the apple uh, you have to do a lot of clicks to do this but you want to make sure the opacity is down so it doesn't make too much of a hard edge and you can get it okay now you're gonna make this layer visible again add a layer mask with this button down here push shift F5 to change it to uh, the layer to all black then get your brush at white, a soft brush, and you're going to color back in the teeth and lips. And the more time you spend on this, the better it's going to look. I'm not spending that much time so that the tutorial does not take way too long. And now your lips are done. Now you're going to go to the picture of the eye drag that over to the Granny Smith apple. You want to select outside of the eye so that you can erase. You're going to press control T so you can modify it. Press shift as you drag to maintain the aspect ratio and about that size is good. And then press enter. Duplicate it with control J. Desaturate it with control shift U. Make the colored one invisible. And uh, change the blending mode of the black and white to luminosity. Get your eraser out, and you and you're gonna erase the edges of the eye so it blends in. And that's about good. Then you're going to make this uh, visible again. Add a layer mask with this button down here. Press Shift, F5, fill the layer mask with black. Get your brush out and paint in just, just the eyeball. And the more time you take with this step, the better it will look. You can make your brush smaller by using brackets, uh, bracket keys. and then you have the eyeball. You're going to select the two eyeball layers by pressing control so you can select them both. You're going to duplicate both of them with control J and then you're going to press control T to transform. Right click, flip horizontally and then move it over to the other side of the apple. Now for the knife you're going to select the knife you're going to drag it into your uh, image move it to where you want it about press control T to transform 
hold down shift to maintain your aspect ratio until you get it to a size you want and then if you press control you can move just one corner to change the uh, perspective of it just a little bit press enter and change the blending mode to multiply and that's going to get rid of the white okay now you're going to use your pen tool so you can make curved selections and it doesn't need to be perfect just about you're going to press uh, alt not home alt when you make a sharp curve so that it cuts off the other handle make your next selection and you're going to go all the way around the bow okay now you're going to do make selection uh, you can feather it by one pixel just make it a little bit of a softer edge and you're going to drag it into your image press control T so you can resize it hold down shift so that you maintain the aspect ratio get it to the size you want if you press control you can drag corners to change perspective and then press enter then you are going to duplicate the layer then press control and click the thumbnail to highlight just where you have something in the picture press shift F5 to fill with black move it below your bow deselect it and move it down to the right just a little, or down to the left just a little bit then you're going to go to filter blur gaussian blur and blur it by mm, about six seven pixels and delete up here where it's not touching the apple delete over the eye and then change your opacity to make it look more like a shadow and now you have the final picture of the apple that killed the other apple um, that's the end of this tutorial uh, like the video comment and subscribe thank you